Good morning, everybody. This is Danny from Deep South Homestead. And yes, guys, I am back in my overalls again this morning. It has finally cooled off enough to the point to where we can wear them and not just literally burn up out here in the heat. We're so thankful that we've got some cool temperatures. And yes, guys, we are back out here because it's cool weather. We are at the Epic Smokehouse. Now, I am so sorry. We're not going to be actually smoking bacon this morning. It's not really cold enough for that. It's only in like 50 but guys we are going to be smoking cheese today because cheese is one of our favorite things to have smoked if you've never had it you do not know what you're missing home smoked cheese is like heaven and we're going to be using apple wood this morning to smoke it with and guys I want you to be able to see the whole journey and understand that even you can do this at home the whole key is just not getting it hot. Cheese cannot be got hot if you're going to be smoking it because it will just melt. I mean, you got to cold smoke it. And that's why we chose a cool morning and we're going to build the kind of fire that it takes to smoke cheese. So guys, come on on. Let me show you what we're doing. Okay, guys, look at here. I built this little chain system. I went to the hardware store, got some eye hooks and some chains. And this is kind of a little makeshift system here. We're going to have like three tiers of cheese here. We've got different kinds of cheese. Um, we're going to start out with some on the bottom, some here and some here. And I just took the hooks and I kind of spaced them out. I mean, you could do a little bit better job of evenly spacing them than I did. Uh, these are baskets that we picked up at Walmart here a couple years ago. Guys, I really like this one here the best. If I could come up with more of those... I probably would use those, but we have these other two right now, and it's kind of in a little bit of an odd shape, but nevertheless, it still works. And guys, now comes the time we're fixing to build a small fire. Okay guys, we used a little fat pine lighter in here. We're going to leave the, uh, we're not going to put any cheese in here right now because the fat pine lighter has a lot of soot in it. The goal at this point is to get a little small bed of coals going so that um, we can just have smoke. We're going to put the, wo the wood on top of the smoke, uh, the coals I mean, so that we make smoke. We're not interested in a fire. The only reason we have a fire at this point is just to make a bed of coals and we're going to be using apple wood this morning to smoke our cheese with. And we're going to close the door down just a little bit to get the draft going and start heating the pipe up going into the smokehouse. Once the pipe begins to heat up it will actually uh, create a draft into the smokehouse and we don't want uh, this part of it, like I said, we don't want the soot and all to get on the cheese. We just want smoke a little bit later. See the size pieces of wood I'm using? It's branches. You don't want big old huge chunks of wood. You have big chunks of wood, you need to bust them up into little small pieces.
All right, guys, you want to keep the temperature between 60 and 80, or colder than 60 is better, but I mean, if we don't want to go over 80 degrees. We want to try to keep it in that range. So that's our goal this morning. All right, guys, we're fixing to open her up here. We're going to take a look. Woo! Woo! Look at that. It's smoking. Yeah, that smoke's coming out of there. Okay, you're going to stand with the door. I'll stay with the door. Okay, let it come out for just a minute here. Yeah. There you go. Now, <laughs> we've got uh, just sharp cheddar. We don't do the mild cheddar and we don't do the extra sharp. We just do sharp. Sharp uh, mold doesn't grow on sharp very well. So we don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Now, we have uh, Monterey Jack. And Colby. And Colby. And we're spacing them apart. There, we're getting them spaced apart. And then we got Pepper Jack. I got two pepper jacks. Tough on your eyes when you're standing here. I'm just kind of spacing the bigger, littler mozzarella. I would, mozzarella. All right, and another. Another pepper jack. Pepper jack. Okay, guys. As far as the length of time is concerned, here you can see it in there. Uh, that's going to depend on you as an individual as to how smoky you want your cheese. Um, we sometimes can go up to five hours with ours. It, it just depends. Now, remember... Uh, woo, smoky out here. <laughs> um, a lot of people in the past videos criticized me because of the way I built my smoker system. Oh, it'll never work. It'll never stand. The concrete will bust. This will happen. Or that'll happen. What kind of concrete did you use? I mean, did you use this? Did you do that? Guys, we this is this smokehouse over a year old already. It's perfect. It's not cracking up. I mean, it's doing just what it's supposed to do. It's just like the last one. I built it. It's working out perfectly fine. And guys, the thing about it is, is when you're smoking, you're just smoking. You're not cooking. The whole object here is to smoke meat. Smoked meat doesn't need to have a huge roaring fire that will bust the concrete all to pieces and stuff like that in order to be able to smoke stuff. You need a bed of coals and you just need meat smoking or smoldering. You want smoke, you don't want heat. The only time you want heat is if you're doing uh, like link sausage or something and then you still don't get it that hot. It's just 150 degrees or 160. You just run it up there. The bacon, we go to like 127 to 135, somewhere in that area. I mean, so we're not building roaring fires in here. And the cheese is just a, a simple smoldering smoke is all that it is. You want to stay cold with cheese.
Okay guys, working on a homestead is really about time management. Everybody asks us, how do y'all get so much done? Well, we've got cheese smoking right now. I'm not just sitting over at the smoker doing nothing while the cheese is smoking. I've got the thing set. I go back about every 15, 20 minutes and check on it to make sure everything's okay. It's been fine. Haven't had any problems. It's doing just what it's supposed to do. You know, Wanda's been up to take the garbage out. We're out here digging sweet potatoes while that's going on. When you're doing something, you have to learn to multitask. You have lots of jobs to be done. We've done went and fed the cows, everything. I mean, all this is going on while we're smoking our cheese. We don't just stop whenever we do something. So think about that when you're working on your homestead. Think about time management. Use your time wisely to accomplish a lot of different jobs all at one time. Look what I got, Dixie. Good girl. Big, isn't it? No, oh, let's find another one then. That's what I'm talking about. The moment has come. We've been letting it go now for several hours. Let's see what we got. What's the smoke? Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. About four hours. About four hours, and guys, this is what you want right here. Not a fire, but smoke. Right, come stand here and hold your door. We gotta let this smoke dissipate for just a minute. Cause it's... <laughs> I can't breathe. It's pretty serious. Oh, I can look at it and tell it's got a good... A good All right, I went and washed my hands. Just because. Let's take these big ones up here out first. Yeah. Ooh. And y'all... It's, it's really soft and spongy. But it's not um, melted. Not melted, yeah. Because you don't want melted cheese. You don't want to see juice coming out of it. Yeah, if it gets too hot, you'll see uh, you'll see the fat in it beginning to come this out. This one, you can tell really it was further down, more yeah, smoke. Yeah, it's got a lot more smoke flavor along the edge there, yeah. Perfect. I mean, perfect. And see, on, on the ones on the bottom, you can tell it's got even more smoke. There's, uh, if I can get up a little bit closer to the camera, I don't know with the sun the way it is, you can see, I don't want it to flip out onto the ground here, but you can kind of see how it looks here. It looks really good. I mean, you got a nice smoky flavor to it. It didn't get hot enough that the liquid started coming out of it, but you can see the definite darkness around the edges. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take this to the house. We're going to wrap it in saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator for two weeks and let the smoke flavor have its time to just work its way through the cheese. And then we'll come back later and we're going to do a taste test. And I'm telling you, it's going to be awesome. 